Hello, and welcome to December's episode of Strictly Business, ABMI's business program, which is focused on your local com business community and presented by the Bellingham Business Association. My name is John Orthman, and I'm your host for this month's program. I'm a Bellingham resident, financial advisor and partner with Moody Street Financial, and president of the Bellingham Business Association. Today's guests are Megan Correa, a local freelance graphic designer, and Bellingham resident, and Lydia Kosianos, who, along with her husband Nick, owns and operates Lowell's Restaurant on the Bellingham Menden Line. Before we get to talk up close and personal with our guests, I want to take a few minutes to keep everyone up to date on BBA activities. Bellingham Business Association is a nonprofit uh, organization whose mission is to support local business and give back to the community it serves. Since we last taped this show, the BBA, along with many of its members, participated in Bellingham's annual pumpkin stroll, which took place on the town common on October 30th. Despite the weather challenges, it was a most su successful event. The BBA wants to extend gratitude to the event coordinators Ann Odebashian, Bellingham's town clerk, Brian Perico of Brian's Country Greenery, and Leo Fantini of Massachusetts Real Estate Group. Their planning efforts and particularly their foresight to postpone the event for one day because of bad weather made this great event possible. All of the BBA members appreciate being invited to participate. On November 9th, the BBA held its own annual charitable event, The Taste of Bellingham. Proceeds from this event are contributed to BBA-supported local causes. Seven local eateries participated, including Lowell's Restaurant, thank you, Lydia, Aglas, Bamboo Express, Vercelli's, Zio Paolo's Osteria, D'Angelo's Sandwich and Grill, and finally, Dino's Bakery, which provided incomparable sumptuous desserts. Um, in addition, Brian's Country Greenery provided the table flowers and centerpieces, and Dave Griffin of DaveWillDrawYou.com entertained us with some great caricatures of many of, of those who were in attendance. We want to give a special thank to the Bellingham Library for hosting us in the community room, and thank everyone for participating in and attending this event. Now let's go to our main event and have some conversation with our guests. Lydia and Megan, thanks so much for being here today it's for oh, this welcome. segment. Welcome, our pleasure. Ah, thanks Definitely. for being here. Megan, let's start with you. Oh, why? <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about your background and how you got into the graphic design business. Um, my background is I, I have a bachelor's degree in fine art, so I started out as an artist. Mm -hmm. um, doing painting was, was, my, was my major, and I went into interior design and then kind of segued from interior design and wanted to do something a little bit more hands-on, a little bit more contemporary, and, uh, and so I decided to go into graphic design and make better use of my art degree, so that's how I got started. Well, you know, you were, um, you, we've utilized you with the Bellingham Business Association. You've done a great deal of our work. Some of it was presented in the opening. I know you brought some work to show today. I did. Um, if you want to let us see oh, a sure. few things. I'll show you just a, just a couple of things. It's um, I have a range of, of skills, skill set. I've done corporate invitations, which is what this is, for um, an event in California about earlier this year. Um, I have several logos to, to show, and um, my skill set pretty much goes from contemporary to conservative. I just love doing logos. Of it. It's just uh, way too much fun for you've me. You've done a, a nice job, <laughs> too. Thank you. I've also done exhibit design, where um, it's also considered an environmental design, mm -hmm. where I'm doing designs that will actually are freestanding, and people can walk through and look at it. It's usually for conventions, trade shows, that, that, that sort of thing. A magazine layout. Nice, beautiful stuff. Thank you. It's great that you brought some samples so we Thank can look you at very it. Thank you much. And Lydia, how did you and your husband Nick decide to get into the restaurant business? Well, it was very easy. My husband uh, worked in restaurant business since he was 17. Wow. Started as a dishwasher. <laughs> and uh, so 27 he is now. He's been in for 10 years, huh? Yeah. Well, <laughs> a little more than that. <laughs> it would be nice, actually. We go back a long way, but I. Uh, Met my I met my husband in 1974. We got married in 75, and I moved to New Jersey, where he used to work at a restaurant. And um, a few years later, he, we decided to move back to Massachusetts, where we opened the pizza place in Marlboro. Oh, okay. And then, of course, in 1987, we 
Port Lowell's restaurant that was in the center of Minden. Mm -hmm. And that's when our that challenges started. Yeah, yes, I can imagine. Yeah. We had some wonderful years, 17 years there, and of course we had the tragic fire. But um, on the long run, though, it turned out to be a little blessing in disguise. It, it gave us the opportunity to get our own place, which is now on 75 Cape Road on Route 140, and it's been great for us. Well, I don't know if you've if you've seen it, but the people in Bellingham are just delighted that you're on the Bellingham Absolutely. line here. Absolutely, um, you've been a real good partner in, in terms of being a member of the mm. BBA as well as as helping out with community events and all that stuff. So we we're really delighted that you moved closer to us because many of us went there anyway, but it was a little bit of a longer ride up to Menden. Um, as a family business, what are some of the challenges that you faced, and what's the secret of the restaurant's longevity and success? I think uh, being a family, because we have our two sons working with us, um, which is a big help, mm -hmm. uh, both the boys. Um, it's great. I think we support each other. Of course, every so often we get into our, you know, family squabbles. Family squabbles. <laughs> <laughs> it's a normal thing. It's a healthy thing to do. <laughs> but, but on the long run, though, it's a great thing because they can work. We can take off. We can work. They can take off. It's just. It's a great thing to be uh, uh, with the family. Well, I well, know having been in the restaurant that the boys take an active role in, in running it and operation-wise and all that, but you seem to run the whole show, uh, at least outside in the dining room. It, it's, it's true, because I'm a little more brave, I should say, <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, they, but they all do a good job. Of course, Nick is always behind scenes, and he's doing the real important part mm -hmm. of the restaurant, the food, which is the important part. Mm, it's so good. But, yeah. It is good. So, um, <laughs> but, uh, we all do our own thing, thing and then maybe that's why it keeps us healthy and, uh, and not arguing, I mm -hmm, think, because mm -hmm. we all have our responsibilities. In the interest of full disclosure, the BBA has held several meetings at, at Lowell's restaurant, and, and we know that the food is just great, and oh, it's a group that Lydia bends over backwards to be the hostess mm -hmm. with the mostess, oh, yeah. and um, so we highly recommend you, and want you to, but just want people to know that we do have a bias. <laughs> oh, um. <laughs> thank you. That's, yeah, it's, I think it's a natural, too, uh, uh, being a restaurant owner, but also being a Greek background, and, and mm -hmm. we're aimed to, to serve and... You do well. You yeah. do really well. Um, they have an all-you-can-eat chicken. That's what you can die Which, for. Uh, it's delicious. It, oh, it's been yeah. a big success, and, and people just absolutely love it, whether it's a function or uh, just an everyday dinner at Lowell's. Um, people absolutely love it. Excellent. Megan, since you're in the creative business, yes. that's, that's a pretty daunting challenge in this financial environment, you, even though that's probably one of the most important things branding and for people to keep themselves visible mm. out there in this economy. It's the thing that goes first in, right. in most businesses that I've worked with. So how do you deal with that? Well, it's, I think it's a matter of attitude in some degree. I don't focus on the economy being bad. I, I really focus on opportunities and uh, meeting new people and seeing that more in the positive as opposed to paying so much attention to my obstacles. Mm -hmm. I really try to pay attention to my more of the opportunities and I think that helps other people not be so focused on the obstacles as well. So that, I, I try to keep it nice and balanced, but I would say my, one of my biggest challenges outside of that is people's branding and logo and their own company, it's so personal to them and they want to have so much control over the creative process, which that kind of sense. yeah, which kind of has like a little back and forth, and and I to a, to agree I to to a degree I love it I love the back and forth because if you didn't have that invested interest in it it would not be as much fun mm -hmm. you know much fun as a process. But I would say my biggest challenge would be um, letting them let go, getting them to let go a little bit of the process and having them have the faith in my professionalism and my training to do my best for them so they look their best to everybody else. I would think things like technical issues might get in the way where they may not recognize a technical issue and you, right. you're aware of reproduction issues and things right. that, that won't work exactly. uh, that they might want. So exactly. that's, that's interesting. Yeah. Um, this question is really for both of you, but um, what do you see as the best opportunity for Lowell's in the immediate future? And how, do you how can you make sure that Lowell's will be ready to, to, to rise up to meet the challenge? Opportunity. That's kind of a, I think, uh, um, 
it's kind of hard to answer. Well, let me just, just, one of the reasons I thought of that question was because when we had so many power failures in the last year um, in this area, right. Lowell's has been a shining star in terms of their powers on, you're serving the NSTAR people, you know, the, uh, cave, the, the repair people, you're making sure that everyone's uh, able to get something to eat and go back out to work. Absolutely, <laughs> and, and, and we aim, our service is just always great and, and, and we always try our hardest to just to make sure that um, everything runs smooth and uh, we aim to please everybody mm -hmm. and that's our goal. Our goal is always to serve and, and as we see it in the future, it's just, I think, being successful at all times. Um, well, now you've been around what forty three years as the Lowell's has been around, right? At this well, point, well, Lowell's has been around a long time, but you've been us, on board for about we've been 25, 24, 24. 25 yeah, years. Okay. Seventeen on the old location and six at this location, and as challenging has been because you know restaurant business, it's very challenging on a daily basis. Um, I think uh, it's been wonderful for us, and it's it's a lot of hard work, but it it's great. You're working when everybody else isn't. Exactly. <laughs> you know? Exactly. Um, it's that always, must be yeah, hard. It, huh? it is. It is. It's like you can never. You know, you can plan, but you can't plan. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's challenging. It's an everyday challenge for us. But uh, but it's great. We love doing that. And it's, in, we love in some ways, your family wouldn't be able to spend any time together if they didn't all work together, huh? Somehow, <laughs> though, we manage. We have some wonderful help. Uh, we have a good help uh, mm -hmm. working for us. So we're always. In, uh, Manage to put those family times in, in so it's that makes sense. Good. Yeah, yeah, but it was always hard work. Good, Megan. What, what what is your best opportunity out there? You kind of led into this question as well <laughs> with your last comment. My my best opportunity is local small businesses. Um, I get to meet people face to face. Um, I get to get involved in what their vision is, and. Meeting, peop meeting people face to face is probably one of my biggest assets because you could find, let's be honest, you can find a graphic designer wherever, mm -hmm. you know, um, just, just like a restaurant. I mean, if you just want to eat, you can find a place to eat. But to go to Lowell's or to work with me, it becomes more, more personal and you, you fall in love with the process and the relationship with us as opposed to just asking for something and just getting something back, you know. So and no one and everyone wants to have that personal contact and that relationship and, and get to know that person they're working with. And that's how you get repeat business because they know you and they've eaten with you. Absolutely. Exactly. I, I think that's what makes us special too. We're very, very family Oh, really? Well, I see so you stopping by at every table just, just about. Oh, <laughs> I was just going to say We're that. She I mean, does. everybody knows everybody. Our customers knows us and always you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's really, and. It's funny that you mentioned that because when I thought about who we wanted to have as guests on today's show, I, I, both of you, I thought together would be really good because you both really have a personal touch in the way you do business. Mm -hmm. Can you sort of run down for somebody what the template would be if you were, if you were gonna take on a new client in a local business here? Would they meet with you so many times? Would, how would that process go? I like to think the process goes pretty quick and to the point. No one wants to hear like the whole drawn out process from A to Z. They, they, they want to tell you what they want, what their end result is, and what their timeline is. And what I do is I sit down with them, kind of brainstorm where they want to go, what their end result is, and I work very well from, from that process. Mm -hmm. I like to really hear people just What's the, uh, what's the word? It's, it's like um, free flow thinking, mm -hmm. you know, just even if it doesn't necessarily make sense to you about what you're telling me, I, it's processing as you're telling me and I'm putting things together and I get images as you're, as you're telling me what you're looking for, what feel, and then I go back and give you a couple of ideas, put it together and see if that's something that you would be interested in. Do you like people to come to you with firm ideas or would you rather help them create the idea? I like both. Mm -hmm. I like both because they both set different challenges for me. So if it's just, you know, come up with something, that, oh, that's almost a little, almost too wide open because I can go in any direction and it could take forever to get, <laughs> to get something <laughs> to you because I've got too many options. Um, or it, at the very least, some guideline is, is I, I love these colors, I love this style. What can you do for me with these ideas? 
with it still being unique to me. Mm -hmm. That's great too. Yeah. Sounds good. Thank you. Um, Lydia, one of the Lowell's is, you know, sticks out in my mind always as as a family-oriented restaurant. You can go in get high quality homemade food um, for a reasonable price. One of the things that I really saw that differentiated you from the rest of the restaurants in town was when you were open on Thanksgiving. You know? Absolutely. <laughs> I, uh, we served about, within about three hours about 140 people wow. and it, it, was <clears throat> it was wonderful. And one thing that stuck in my mind is that if I could go to a restaurant and have that home cooking meal, I would too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and it's just very home cooking. Our new slogan is uh, your home cooking, uh, your home cooking, it's a, it's a home cooking hidden treasure. Oh, so okay. That's, that's nice. Yeah, nice. Yeah, and it's, that's what it's all about. It's home cooking. It's like you're cooking at home, but you're able to get anything at Lowell's. Mm -hmm. Our menu is so big, so we so can varied. go out of the way, and uh, even if it's not on the menu, we're able to create it for you. Well, so. that's the other thing about you. You're very good at customizing it, too. You know, when we have our events there, you and I talk about menus and that sort of thing, and you're always like, oh, what do you want? We'll do whatever you want, Joy. Exactly. We can serve just about anything and, and at any time. Mm-hmm. Uh, although I should say, when it comes to for breakfast, sometimes people walk in at two and three in the afternoon and would like breakfast, and I just say, "Do you really want breakfast?" <laughs> <laughs> because I like to, because <laughs> it's kind of hard to, to do everything. To revamp everything all busy. over again, well, right? Well, when we're very busy, when we're slow, we'd go, you know, mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, and above. But um, and, and that's the beauty of our place is just very home cooking. Mm -hmm. You know, that's you always have to think of home cooking. Do you find that the Menden, pa the Menden um, patrons that always came to you during the years that you were there come over to, to Bellingham? Absolutely. The people come, out, the people come from everywhere, but um, from Menden, everywhere. We get people from Worcester. We get people from Waltham. No kidding. We get people from uh, Rantham. We get people from everywhere. Mm -hmm that they come to our place. You, you're very Just well known in the whole area. I mean, and we, I mean, we serve everything. I think that's what makes it easy. We do everything, you know, do functions, uh, not to mention the ice cream in the summertime. That's true. Uh, mm. uh, everything. Or the grape nut pudding. Oh, the grape nut puddings. <laughs> and, uh, uh, we even have benefit functions going on lately uh, for oh, people no that uh, we need. We had a, um, someone who, one of our a bartender who just was di diagnosed with uh, ovarian cancer, so we just had a benefit going oh, for nice. her. And then after that, we got another benefit going on December 11th for someone, and I wish I had the names with me. Uh, if somebody uh, needs to join us, they can, uh, but if they want, they can find the, they can call us for the information. We have put in a, a benefit in for this gentleman who got hurt in a motorcycle accident oh, sorry very recently. Um, but any function, we got, we do. Everything. The BBA. Yep. And yep. We the Lions Club, I know the you Lions do. Lions Club. We have the Lions from Menden and the Lions from Bellingham. <laughs> we do both. That's and great. A lot of functions, a lot of Christmas uh, uh, parties coming up uh, this month, of course. Um, we do everything. Do you have a capacity in terms of, you know? Well, uh, we used to stick in about with about 30 people, but lately we go outside of that little room and we go oh, up great. to 50. We've done a function of the 70. We did most most of the restaurant we use. So, uh, well, that's good we to know pretty in much the future. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Very good. We'll have so to consider that. Whatever it is. <laughs> for, for some of our bigger functions that we have. Um, well that kind of leads me to the next point. If someone wanted to reach out and contact you, how would they, what would be the best way that, uh, Oh, uh, well, they can, uh, if they want to see who we are, they can go on the Lowell's uh, restaurant.com, mm -hmm. but they can always call us at 508-473-1073, very easy, or we'll stop in <laughs> right next door. Excellent. Is, yeah. And you? So, I have a website you can go to. You do. I, I do. I, I wrote it down, so I went and messed it up for you. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's crop.com, K-R-O-P.com forward slash Megan Korea forward slash and Very that my portfolio is on there my resume is on there and all my contact information is on there as well excellent mm -hmm. if um, you had to pick your ideal cost client who would it, it would be it would be a local business you say a local small yeah. business I do okay. love my local small businesses now I do you do I know you do a great job at branding um, and helping people brand things do you, do you have um, like a sort of a, a lineup of what you need to brand yourself for like for a local small business what do they need they need business cards they need uh, yeah the basics would be you know business cards letterhead I'm not so sure the letterhead nowadays is as 
prominent as it used because to be. Because of email? Yeah, because everything is, is really through, you know, email. Unless there's like Instant invoicing. Messaging, texting. Ex exactly. <laughs> you know, um, I would say invoicing, you know, having your, your invoicing set up. So no matter what you put out has your look and brand and mm -hmm. your colors on it, no matter what. I always say, you know, I don't care if it's a postage stamp. If you get your, <laughs> get your logo on it, do it. So because mm -hmm. the, the more it's in front of people, the more they'll remember you and the more they'll say, oh, yeah, that's right, you know. And, and they can spot your logo and know exactly who you are and what you do. Mm -hmm. so. If anyone has seen our, the, Be the Bellingham Business Association's ad in the um, Bellingham, what is it called, Community Resource Directory? Mm -hmm. um, Megan did that. She also did an ad for us in, a, in the library cookbook. Oh, yeah. And uh, she, she's sort of got us on the map as a business networking group, so we appreciate that. Oh, you're welcome. I um, loved it. Very good. Well, you know, thank you both for your time today and thank for sharing you. your experiences oh, and your expertise. With the little time that we have left, I want to inform our viewers about a few BBA items, if that's okay. Oh, okay. Please stay with me, though. Okay. Um, our holiday party this year is at Fricelli's Restaurant in South Bellingham. It's on Wednesday, December 7th, starting at 5.30 p.m. Space is limited, so please RSVP as soon as possible. We'll be having our traditional Yankee swap, which is always fun. Um, I don't really understand how it works, but, <laughs> but the girls on the board organize it and they do a great job. Um, there's a gift limit of $10. We also ask people to bring a food pantry item or, and or an unwrapped gift for Santa's Elf's Telethon. The Bellingham Business Association will be making a cash donation to the woman of today's Elf's Telethon on December 6th as well. So you can tune in right here on ABMI. Our 120 scholarship raffle tickets are available for $20. These are great odds with only 120 chances to win a $1,000 first prize, a $200 second prize, or, wow. or a three and third and fourth prizes with $100 each. Um, I don't know anywhere else that you have a 25% chance or, or a huge chance like that, four out of 120 of, getting, no of winning some cash and getting your money back and more. Um, the BBA wants to take a minute to welcome several new members. The Bellingham Senior Center became an honorary member when we realized that um, after Laura DiMatteo gave a presentation to our group on our nonprofit night in October, we said, you know, we have a lot of other, other Bellingham officials who are honorary members. It makes sense since she's the director of the Senior Center and as a town, as, as a town official that she should um, be an honorary member as well. Um, DaveWillDrawYou.com, Dave Griffin joined recently. The Cory Center for Health and Wellness joined recently. Oh, nice. R&R Landscaping also joined last month at the Taste of Bellingham. Uh, Ron, Bol uh, I, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but it's Bolu, I believe. And the Impact School of Martial Arts. So.